Hello everybody, I am Opefic and welcome back to Let's Play Plague of Shadows. On to Spectre Knight Stage. The Lich Yard. Alright. This used to be my favorite track until I heard Plague Knights. Well, track. Oh, I can actually explode these. Neat. I gotta say, I just realized this tree had a face. That's pretty cool. Um, I never really noticed these things when I'm just like playing the game, but since I've already played this game before, I've noticed like... How do I say this? There are some things you miss when you don't appreciate everything in whole. I've never really strolled... took a stroll to play any of my games until... I replay them, honestly. It's like, ah yes, I know this though. I'm just gonna appreciate for what this is. I can't kill these ghosts. Your magic bombs can't kill shit, Plague Knight. Alright, I get a mass hand to me by a royal frog, so... I gotta calm down with that. Of course, bombs. I think there's a difficulty or something where every health is a bomb. Like, every health upgrade. I forgot which... I forgot what that was about. It's a setting or a difficulty or a challenge, I'm not sure. I doubt it's a challenge, because challenges are new to this game. Alright. Oh, okay. I didn't expect another one to be in there, but whatever. Looking at these backgrounds, it takes me... I mean, there are a lot of other games, and even in history, where corpses were buried into catacombs like this, but... Or, I guess a graveyard. But for some reason, this takes me back to Skyrim, and I'm not even a huge fan of Skyrim. I actually gave that game a chance, because... I'm like, alright, Oblivion is pretty cool, considering Oblivion was, it was my first Elder Scrolls game. And I'm like, eh. Then Skyrim's like, alright, and then again, eh. I just can't get into those games anymore. For some reason, I get into Fallout, though. Which is weird, because I'm more into the mythical killing shit. And... That's what Elder Scrolls is. I know I don't have to kill you, buddy, but... I will. Wondering... Wait. It's obviously that... It's obvious. Hello, what? Go back. Go back, please. Uh, apparently... I didn't... Save? The power-ups that I got? That's interesting. Why is that? I made sure it's saved. Huh. Well, whatever. I'm being way too reckless, honestly, right now. Ah, I was hoping I would explode on top of him. I was being way too reckless in here. I'm noticing that this is, uh... This really was designed for Plague Knight. I mean, look how narrow this room. Well, not just not the game in general, or this, but this room at the to point out right now is just you know how they made it very narrow enough for you to make it difficult, but also possible enough for him to when he lobs his uh, bombs. At least this is the default one because this is a beginning stage. I'm not sure if the water kills me. I don't want to find out. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's a thing that the developer has to keep in mind, uh, especially with games of power ups. Oh, cool! I got the face locket. A worthless relic. Maybe someone else would want this rubbish. Uh, but yeah, you have to keep in mind, you know, you gotta design the stage, or at least segments. So for based on the default power up they have, they're not. They can't imply that oh he went to King Knight first. You have to assume that this stage is gonna be at the beginning stage and whatnot. I don't even know why the hell I'm talking about developers. If I'm not even a developer, I don't even play Mario Maker. Come on, there's some people. There's just some tweets I run into, and some posts online. Like, I am a developer because I make Mario games, I'm a Mario maker. <laughs> I'm like, come on buddy, come on. That makes me an RPG developer because I play with RPG Maker. Or well, I dabbled with it, but... But the same context of what they're saying, I am an RPG developer. Oh wow, he does jump off. Ah, uh, I was hoping my explosion radius would be enough. I kind of I don't like that I'm getting my ass handed to me, but like see my health up here. Uh, I kind of recover the health based on the potions that I have. 
if you, if you understand what I'm getting at. Um, I feel like since I think I'm I'm I think I'm referring to the Binding of Isaac when I say this, but when you get special upgraded, not like fake health, you can't you shouldn't be able to heal it. I think that I think that make, the fact that I can heal my fake health is making this game too easy. I'm just trying- that's just pretty much all I'm trying to say. But whatever, I mean, I can't do nothing about it. There's a reason why I'm- <laughs> Okay, so let's see, had I double jump and done this, would I have made it? Okay, barely. So I was wondering, because I did this... My normal way, the way I do it, and I'm like, I don't think many players would have been- Not saying- I'm not saying it's a hard thing to do, but I'm trying to think of those- the youth. There are some people who said Shovel Knight is really fucking hard, and I'm like, really? But then I realized they're the youth, they never grown up with these kind of mechanics or the placement of enemies and the tragic pitfalls. I'm like, that would have been a little bit too hard for them, which is, I know I'm giving them a little bit of credit when I say this, but they're the youth now, or the millennials, I guess. Because the youth now is different than the millennials now, because the millennials are the ones who grew up on the PS2 and the Xbox. And I guess in a case, the Xbox 360. What I'm trying to get it is, they played some pretty hard games too, all of, albeit somewhat pandering, with all the checkpoints and... By checkpoints, I mean like checkpoint saves. And sa being able to save anywhere. Well, I don't know, I'm just going to rant now. I'm just saying that I already got my point. I don't think they could have been able to done that maneuver that I just did. Explosion, shoot, double jump, explosion. I wonder if I can make it though. This would be a nice test to see how high I can get over Plague Knight. Nope, it's not possible. Or is it? <laughs> oh, shit. Proved myself wrong, it's all about timing. So the little ice physics Plague Knight has. You gotta be careful with these jumps. I can't even see in the night, but I'm glad. I don't know. It's, it's like pat I'm patting myself on the back that I could do that without seeing. Nah, I need him to come down. I was measuring if I could do it or not. But now I can. I gotta say, um, I'm one of the few who, I don't know, this is an interesting dabble, considering that I've only played it, usually most Nintendo games that I've played, I've only played once, and I think it's fair enough for me to say that I have personally grown tired of Nintendo in general, at least their games, I'm not gonna want to charge that, by saying that, uh, for the most part, if you played them once, you played them all, you can actually say that with a lot of other games, but... For some reason, Nintendo 6 is with me the most. But anyways, what I'm trying to get is Mario Sunshine. I really like that game. And I really enjoyed hunting for those, um... Red coins, or blue coins. Was it red coins or blue coins? So the last Mario game, technically, the newest uh, Mario game I played was Mario 3D Land on the 3DS. Since it was... Free. <laughs> for me. When I got my 3DS. Very late, might add. Like... It's almost been a year since I've had it. Or barely a year. I need that helmet, that's right. And the momentum. Ugh. Anyways, I'm trying to get a- I like collecting these green coins. Which is weird, because normally that wouldn't be- that wouldn't be a problem, but right here it really does take me back to collect these items in wool. Ah, no way. Well, I could probably bounce you off the screen. And I guess not. Oh. We gotta go back. I mean, reset the whole map. Normally in games where you have to collect stuff, not re not really collect the thons per se, but like collect stuff, like the coins. This is remnant to like the bolts from Auto Shop in uh, Mega Man. I think it was eight, uh, or seven too. Um, I just like have I have so much fun doing it, so I'm actually glad Shovel Knight did this or is doing it. Poured in a beaker or stuffed in a bag, Chester's always got the swag. 
Hey, nice relic, pal. You know, I could take that off your hands and give you something a little more interesting. So, Leech Liquid replenish your energy by damaging enemies. Wow. Plague Knight is straight up overpowered. They should have made this game a lot harder. So, I just drank it and it's okay. Soul Steel. Don't want it though. I don't. Okay, I'm realizing that I my King Knight recording didn't save, which is okay. I'm. When I was in the shop with Mona, it said on the top right it was saving, but I guess it didn't. So as you're watching this, my King Knight or Pride More Keep save file didn't save. What the hell? That's. I'm gonna assume it's my fault. My fault, but. I swear, I, I probably have a recording that says now saving. So that's crazy odd. Hmm. Oh, well, I'm not gonna complain because Pride More Keeps are fucking easy. Then again, I do have to get out of the collectibles again. So that's, while it sucks for me, eh. I can't cry about it. It's not like I did like a really hard segment in the game. Now, if it was Propeller Knight stage. Pilot Knight stage for me personally was the hardest stage in Shovel Knight. And that's because I never got his dagger until I was doing the full run. The little dagger that propels you in the sky. Like I don't... I think I got it in my let's play, I'm not sure, 100%. I might have to check that out. But I'm gonna go with I did it. But when I got it, I, I abused the fuck out of it and it made it so much, that stage so much easier. Especially the speed run. Has it only really been 10, 12 minutes already? Damn. I feel like a little, it's been a while, but whatever. Alright. I was hoping I could jump over that. Guess not. Well. I'm about to fight, um. Spectre Knight. Ah. Uh. And in charge fast in time. Oh well. I should be able to beat him again with all the health that I have. I mean, as long as I hit him twice for every time he hits me once, I should be good. But then again, I think Spectre Knight's touch damage does a whole health bar <laughs> or two. Can you die now? Like me? I'll take that. I don't think I ever showed off the uh, mansion or the ghost hall. In my let's play though. I'll do it here with Plague Knight. It's an extra boss or something. Did I miss a coin? Okay, I didn't. Just wanna make sure I get all the coins. Uh, I didn't think I land, but I did. I should be able to, with the momentum, I should be able to cross it. I'm just worried about the coins. Alright. Just one coin then. Easy enough. I'm pretty sure I missed a coin, but, you know, I can always come back. Alright, I'm good. So let's see what Spectre Knight has to say. So, Rayman meets Rayman, but you are no kindred spirit. What have you come to harvest, foolish alchemist? <laughs> if you only could see me yawning under this mask. Oh, the spooky ghost. <laughs> the mask indeed has benefits on your blustering for You are it only from yourself. <sighs> How tragic that you shall never be met. From cowardice! War here! Your story must end! Ah, fun enough. I guess they're kind of relatable. That'd be funny. Although it's not gonna happen. But that'd be cool if like, oh, you, since Plague Knight kind of registers as a boss, 
Touching me, well, is, uh, well, you know, it counts as touch damage, and anyone knows touch damage in a game such as this, where very much in Mega Man, does a lot more damage. <laughs> Be careful, Spectre Knight. My explosions are quite volatile. Alright. Spectre Knight is, uh... I said he is my favorite knight, but he, he does have a great battle theme. I mean, the Lich Heart is kind of fun, too. So I only have one health left. Uh, I mean, considering you can't have a technical health upgrade, I'm on my last hit, so I should be able to... No, I died. I technically died now. Without these health upgrades, I should have died. Ah, I actually reached. Interesting. Alright, let's cheat. I wonder how much health I get off it. And it's infinite! Man, this thing's overpowered. Against the boss like Spectre Knight, the leech life is really overpowered. I could just keep using it. And it gives me some hang time. Alright. Look at that. I'm healing off him during a boss fight. That's an... It's quick regen. That's overpowered. That's just straight up overpowered. Play my gears, no fucks. Do you know Peeny's the shit? Yo! I can totally imagine Plague Knight having some bling on him. Drop the essence into my dynamo decanter here. Essences are volatile, but my breakthrough design stabilizes them. Once the essences are all distilled together, my research is correct. Then we can craft the ultimate potion. Spectre Knight has given up the ghost. <laughs> Great. I needed to swing by the lich yard and scrape up some ectoplasm later. Fantastic. Your face. <laughs> you look different. There's something the matter. Silly. I'm smiling. Alright, so as, as you can tell in the background, I did not... My king... My king knight is still not there for some reason, so... I'm just gonna do vanilla. Well, technically I have this power up, but I'm gonna go over there. So I'm gonna show you what exactly what I did on why I think it should have saved. So I went to options, and went back, and I said on top right, saving. So I assumed it would save the game as well, not only the options, but apparently it didn't. So I honestly also went back to title screen. I honestly remember just closing Shovel Knight, it would save automatically after every boss. But I guess I got to ha had to go outside the map for it to officially save, which I didn't do, I just went back to the title screen. But anyways, um, I'm gonna add in, I assume something, if something different happens, I'll add it in through editing, but if not, thank you for watching this part of Let's Play Plague of Shadows with me, Opaque Plague. Okay, thanks, bye. Hey look, a little bonus, um... I was going to Pride Keep and there's, uh, you know how, like, they're overworld enemies similar to that of the Hammer Brothers or whatever in Super Mario Bros. 3? Well, you, if you play Shovel Knight, you get overworld enemies. This guy landed right on top of Pride Keep, so... Might as well show it off, since I'm kind of forced to. Uh, the first one's usually the quickest. But I reckon, uh... It should be something worth- noteworthy here, at least. Because the, the design for this stage is much different than that of Shovel Knight's... Counterpart, I guess. And I die. Of course I would die. Alright, let's try this once more. And not fuck it up. And I already got hit by slime. Wow. Well, I'm destroyed. It's game over. I should just quit this game to begin with. I think these dragons are gonna be tough, though. At least with the down arc throw. But anyways, I'm done.
Mona, what were you doing in here? Ahem. How long were you watching? And you operated my torque lifts unsupervised? I... I just dropped in! I barely saw anything! Come on, <laughs> I'm not some creep! Well... I guess the charade is up. Yeah, I dance down here. All the time. By myself. Big deal. By yourself? <laughs> that doesn't sound like fun. Well, whatever. I don't see anyone rushing to join me. I'm used to the solitude by now. Wish I could help you there, but... <laughs> uh, y you know, two left feet and all. Yeah, it's no big deal anyway. Oh, by the way, take a swig of this health potion I made for you. Maybe it'll help? So this is what happens after you defeat the second boss, so that's kind of cool. Glad I get to show this off, but uh, now that's an officially ender. To this part. So with that said, for reals this time, okay, thanks, bye.